trumpet shaker. Let's look at the coding process in trumpet here. There are three types of coding in ground up theory research method. When we start investigating a problem in using ground up theory research methods, we want to identify what's emerging from the data. So we go and collect data on the phenomenon that doesn't have a theory to explain and collect data. When we collect data, we conduct a sam purposive sampling, we purposefully identify observations to maximize and focus on the data that we are keen on analyzing to understand the phenomenon. Using such data, we analyze what the data is telling us and develop categories, themes, or patterns of meaning. And these patterns of meanings are called categories or concepts of phenomena. With the meaning that originates or emerge from the data, If the approach taken on ground theory research method is to come up with a core concept or core phenomenon, then we pick the most prominent phenomenon or the concept emerging from the data. If the approach is to find out multiple concepts or multiple meanings or realities, then we look at the concepts that emerge from the data, could be one or several. The second stage is to take the emerging co-concepts from the data and then focus on the data collection to understand those concepts or the categories that emerge from the data that was analyzed. The second stage is called Excel coding. In the Excel coding, again, we conduct purposes sampling purposefully identify observations. To get more details about the concepts or the categories, the purpose here is to maximize the variation of the selected category or categories or the concept or concepts. Once such meaning has, been, has emerged from the axial coding and found out about the concepts, we go on looking for more data about the concepts that we have now identified. The axial coding might refine the concepts that originated at the open coding stage. 
and at the theoretical or selective coding again we conduct purposes sampling to refine the meaning of the core concepts and we try to obtain as much information as possible so that to the point that we have found literally everything about that concept about the meaning of that concept or the categories at this stage we not only look for the core meaning over there in the concept but also the causal conditions and the intervening conditions that are associated with the core concept once we are saturated with the meanings of the concepts and the causal relations and the intervening relations from qualitative perspective we can then develop either concept or propositions or hypothesis about the category or interrelationships about the co-categories that we have looked at. Some researchers can go beyond that to make the qualitative theoretical concepts and theoretical relationships that was found from this research to relate to the practice to the outer world to do that we have to now undertake further analysis further data collection so that we can develop a matrix that shows the consequences and the conditions that connects the core category or categories with the near conditions or the distant conditions influencing the phenomenon. For example, at the open coding stage, when we begin the research, we notice there's high absenteeism in schools and we want to find out why there is high absenteeism and let us assume here that there is no theory to explain it. So we do open coding, collect data through interviews and analyze them and we find that absenteeism when we were talking about absenteeism, interviewing about absenteeism, what is emerging was the dark use. So then we focus on the drug use at the axial coding stage, try to obtain more information about the drug use in schools. And then we find, as we obtain additional information, additional data, and when we analyze them, we find that at the selective or theoretical coding stage, where we now come to a stage where we now understand and exhaust with the meaning of drug use, at school level, I find that there are two other co-concepts emerging. One is experimenting with drug use. The other one is, second one is experiencing 
with track use. So the core phenomenon found from the theoretical coding was the drug use among children. And then in that we find the causal conditions and the intervening conditions at that theoretical stage of coding. We find that peer pressure is a causal condition for drug use and an intervening condition that increases and decreases drug use is except stress. And there are contextual conditions that promote drug use such as birthday party. Then we look for strategic actions and interactions such as change in schools or routine actions and interaction such as how children get used to it or just a little use. Look for consequences of such drug use such as PI acceptance. So that in the research we now have found the core theoretical concept and the causal conditions and the intervening conditions and the contextual conditions and the strategic read actions and interactions and routine actions and interactions and the consequences we can now relate the findings to a matrix that can connect with the immediate conditions, the micro conditions in the real life and the macro conditions or the larger conditions or the distant conditions in real life. For example, we can map out from no experimentation of drug use to experimentation of drug use and low use, low drug use to high drug use and have a matrix and each quadrant we can look at the causal intervening and contextual conditions, strategic and routine and actions and interaction and consequences so that for each category that we have identified in the matrix in real life we can take appropriate action to combat drug use.